Hey, how's it going? This is Red Mocam, and welcome to part 1.5 of my Dead Secret Circle playthrough. Why 1.5? Because this video is mostly story. And I know some of you get bored watching storyline, and then there's other people that really want to hear the story. They want to know what the game is all about. So if you get bored with stories, don't watch this video. But if you want to know every detail, then watch the video. So enough talking. Enjoy. I'm pointing at nothing, because I don't have the screen up like that. It's... Getting out, looking for leads, feels foreign, like a skin I haven't worn oh, in a while. Boy. The fear is still there, around the corner, out of sight. But at least now I can pretend that I'm still a reporter, yeah. working on a beat, and yeah. writing a story. I just have to make sure I'm home before dark. One more thing. I, really I freaked had this out weird dream thing. last night. It's hazy. You think? But I was being chased by this really tall man. Yeah, he killed me uh, twice. I guess you'd say it represents some sort of repressed trauma. But it didn't feel like that. More like real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. There we go. Condemned. Not gonna pay any attention to that. I'm going in. I'm going in. This was the place. Uh, there's like a cigarette butt still burning. Alright, so I have a feeling I'm gonna get chased. And the same I'm gonna have to do the same exact thing. Look at <coughs> Who is this? With a laughing man, is this the smoking man? Hey! How's it going? Can't you read the signs? Uh, Buildings closed. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're right. It is. Your point is? What? What? Now what? Oh! I'd like to ask a few questions. Look, Missy. You're not supposed to be here. I know. If I don't fix this elevator, I'll never hear the end of it. Now skedaddle and stop bothering me. Well. Hey. Come on. Oh, people still live here? Yeah, that's the one. A yeah. few, yeah. Yeah? Folks can't afford to live anywhere else. What's no. it to you? I'm just wondering. Um, looking for someone? Oh, yeah? Who? Sorry, sweets, but you don't look the type. I don't look the type to be looking for someone? I'm a reporter. Ah, oh. Reporter? For who? Woman's Weekly? Hey! Busy princess. We keep to ourselves, alright? Now get out of here, I'm busy. No, 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 I don't think so. What are you doing? I was fixing this elevator. No, you, you were sitting there smoking a cigarette. Shutting me up. Look, you wanna be useful? Go and find Wrench. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Alright, I can do that. I can do that. Okay? Is it in the toolbox? There'd be a really good spot to look, really. Hey, wait a minute. Can I go in here now? What was the tape? I'll take that. Edna Gyoza. What? Seventh century mystic founded a religion known as Shugendo by mixing bits of other beliefs. Okay. With an emphasis on mountain worship. In there? No, is there no wrench? No wrench. Okay. Hey, look at that. There it is. Oh, yeah. I got to me a wrench. Yeah. Because. Oh, okay. I look normal. Swipe up for inventory. Alright. Um, yeah. Got a wrench. Did I hit it with him? Uh, should I hit it with him? <laughs> should I hit him with it? Hey, buddy. Well, look at that. Yeah, I got she a wrench. She does know what the wrench looks like. 
All right, all right, I give. What's on your mind, doll? Uh, there we go. Any what? You gonna call the cops? No. no. We don't need any extra attention at the moment. I'm not calling the cops. Mean? I'm gonna run and hide in the bathroom. That's fascinating. But I gotta get lunch. Hey! Now if you'll excuse me. What do you mean? Edmund Perzbilski. Whoa! Don't go putting my name in no paper now, darling. Okay. Thanks for your time, Edmund. Whatever. Wow. You guy's a little rude. Alright, you gonna leave now? Kind of sour. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Can I go in here? Ooh. Hello? Yes? I... Sorry, miss, but I'm not interested in buying anything. I'm not selling anything. Oh? And yeah. who might that be? Um... Hopefully not you. I, I don't know. Really? Intriguing. I was just, just guys... making tea. Why not come inside, and you can tell me more? Um... Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Doesn't that seem a little odd? Anybody else find that really odd? What is he doing in there? I don't think this is a good idea, but... Dude! Yeah, um... Uh, this is dumb. Oh shit. R hey. Uh, how's it going? Um, hi. Uh, awkward. Very awkward. Very awkward. Um, what happened? What's your hey! name, miss? Jesus. Uh, there we go. Patricia... Shit. Okay, just Patricia. What brings you here? You're a little creepy. Um, research for a story? I suppose I should have guessed that. I'm a writer myself. Okay. Who are you with? Uh... As am I. Really? I get the sense you didn't choose to go it alone, hmm? Tell me, no. what did you do before going freelance? Oh, there we go. Ah, yes. Running with the big boys. And then? Too much stress? Yep, that was exactly it. Yep. Oh, shit. What the freak? Sorry, it's... hold that thought. The what? water's boiling. One moment while I make the tea. I'm not drinking it. Okay, what's he got? Dude, seriously! I'm gonna stand over here next to the gun. Yep, yep, I know he has a gun. It's right there. Hey! Buddy! Now, where were we? Um, where's your tea? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. How rude of me. Yeah. My name is Bram Halloran. Perhaps you've heard of me. No. I've been published in the New Yorker, Reader's Digest, and Playboy. Good to know. Culture, mostly. I'm interested in how the most fascinating stories can come from the most unremarkable people. Oh. And at the moment, I'm interested in you. What's your story? Mm, you're weird. I don't want to go there. Do I want to go there? <laughs> That's quite the allegation. You know, there's only a handful of us here, right? Right. You know, we have some interesting characters. I can't picture any of them as the murderous type. Okay. Um. 
No, don't tell him. Well, that... Consider me intrigued. What okay. kind of perp are we talking about? A jealous lover? Some exotic no. assassin, perhaps? No. No. Um. Oh God, I gotta tell him. Can't say that I have. Okay, good. Let me guess. His puns are killer. <laughs> Reminds me ah, of a comedian ah, I saw on Coney was Island really bad. once. <laughs> oh, that was really bad. Gruesome. Why do these lunatics always need some shtick? Shtick. Garden variety murders too mundane. Yes. That's America yes. for you. Yeah. Nothing's ever simple. Not even the killers. No. We want spacious shtick. Yeah, wait a minute. Well, how about I didn't even that? pick up on that. Nice catch. Yeah. I see why they wanted you at the Tribune. So you have. I didn't recognize the name. But now that you mention it, I do recall reading about the body they found. You do? Have you seen anybody suspicious around Listen, here? Listen, Patricia. There's no killer here. Just a I bunch of folks down on their luck. You're a little sketchy. I haven't. But my neighbor Rose mentioned seeing a stranger about a week ago. Uh -huh. Wonder who'd go wearing a raincoat in such nasty weather. Okay. Like a long slicker. Too cold for this time of year. You might ask Rose about it. Alright. Who is Rose? The nice old Chinese woman in 302. Okay. Now you'll have to excuse me. I should get back to work. You should, it was lovely yeah. talking with you, Patricia. It was fantastic. Good luck catching your psycho killer. Okay. Weirdo. Goodbye, Patricia. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Can I go now? Phew. Yeah, he's weird. Go. In my rose. Oh, God, why? All right, I'm going to do that. Jesus. Dr. Hathaway, I'm definitely onto something. These people, they're not killers, but they're hiding something. The whole yeah. place practically shimmers with secrets. Huh. It's getting dark now, but I'll be back tomorrow. Or, or are you just, like, losing your shit? Oh, here we go again. Now to get all my evidence on the board. Met a man the stairs. That was Edmund, right? Superintendent was fixing the elevator. It was pretty sour. That's right. Also, my, uh, yeah. What's his occupation? He is also a writer. I guess I'll just go to bed and have scary dreams again. Here we go. Oh, great. And now I'm on the third floor. Why is it quiet? What did I unplug? <laughs> Am I like losing my mind? Or did I, or is there just no sound? Yeah. I think, I'm, I don't know. Okay, there's sound there. All right. Where did I get this key? I don't know. Oh, there's somebody over there. Is it the little Asian woman that they're talking about? She's got flowers everywhere. Wait a minute, where are we now? 
Oh, that's the dude. Wait a minute, I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. Uh-huh. Okay. How you guys doing? Oh boy. The heck is that? What is that? What is going on? Whoa! What just happened? I should hide this key somewhere. Where? Alright. Now can I hide the key? Is this gonna work now? This is a good hiding place. Right? Okay, now it worked. That worked. That was weird. I had to restart the game. But at least I got to hide the key. Oh, Dear Dr. oh Hathaway, Jesus. The dreams are getting stranger. I'm walking the halls of that apartment building and I know I went into number 302, but I can't remember the rest. It's so vivid. Like I was really, really there. there. I know I told you about the dreams I had before. About the woodcutter case. Yeah. What it did to me. Dreams are like when your subconscious takes the stage, shines a light on, whatever binds it all together. I know better than to ignore them. Right. But still, this one felt different. This one felt Today different. I'll track down the rest of the people key. living in that apartment. And then I'll find a way into 302. It's, it's simple. You put the key there. Okay. So that was it for part 1.5. That writer dude was creepy. But at least I got to hide a key in my dreams. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, see ya. My dog. Also my dog. Doggies! Doggies! <laughs>